Hey, how you doing? Austin here. We're going to talk about Dogecoin. We're going to talk about the fact that it is still rallying. It's still moving up. We're going to look at the price action. We're going to look at the chart and we're going to look at the overall market and kind of media uh, coverage because some things are happening in the media that I want to talk about that I'm seeing. We're kind of getting back to the good old days of when uh, Dogecoin was, uh, was really covered in the media and that's starting to happen again, which is good good, good, good stuff. Okay. So as always, again, this video is for entertainment purposes only. You guys know I have to give you a little ad here real quickly for my Patreon group. And I want you to go over there. Clicks are, link, links are in the description comments below. Come on down, check it out. Uh, you can join and you can cancel at any time. Okay. So if you want to join, you want to cancel. If it's not for you, cool, you can do that. But I want to point out at, at the inner circle level, you get access to my portfolio. Like yesterday, I took a very large position in a brand new crypto. I let my people know that I, what I had done, how much I bought, why I bought it and things like that. So you get access to my portfolio. You see everything I'm buying, I'm holding when I sell, etc. You get buy and sell trade alerts, but you also get a weekly, weekly, this is buy and sell trade alerts, but you get a weekly Monday new, Monday newsletter. This is hot crypto tips, what I see kind of going on in the market, uh, maybe where I'm looking to take additional positions, things of that nature. Also, one thing I do for my inner circle members is I give you guys guidance on your current portfolio. So I take a look at what you got if you want me to, and I give you some input on what you have and maybe your direction you should go things like that. So if that's something that you care about, you want my input, you just want more of Austin, come on down again. You can join cancel at any time. Uh, and by the way, both levels have access to Discord. Okay. So here we go. Bitcoin and Ethereum continue their run, although it feels like it's cooling off a little bit. It doesn't surprise me. Okay. But uh, Dogecoin has just continued to have a really nice little rally. Okay. So if we kind of look at it in the overall market, and I want to show you this, like the last 24 hours, like Shiba is the number one up in the last 24 hours. And here is our buddy, little, here's little Doge right here, kind of continuing just to, to do its thing. This is a direct market run up, keyword being market run up. They, they are following uh, Dogecoin and, um, and Shiba to that extent uh, are following Bitcoin and Ethereum. Oh, by the way, outpacing them. Look, Dogecoin is up 3% in the last 24 hours. Bitcoin's up 1%. Dogecoin's up 19% in the last 7 days. Bitcoin is up 656 Okay, So we've got some interesting scenario here. And I firmly believe that what we're seeing is kind of a... Uh, a fear of missing out. And I wanted to show you this. So this is a very interesting scenario. So this is the crypto fear and greed index. Okay, what this shows us is right now we're at a 74. See this chart right here, we're at a 74. Okay, and what that means is that there's a high greed factor. Greed equals people buying in, coming into the market. It equals money coming into the market, okay? But you see yesterday we were at a 69, last week we were at a 60, and last month we were at a 20. Extreme fear means, hey, oh my God, I'm very fearful. I don't wanna put money, I don't wanna put money into the market because it's red, things like that, which is ironically the exact opposite. You should be putting money into the market when it's red, you buy low, sell high, right? Okay. So the interesting thing about this charting, though, is it gives you insight into social sentiment, into kind of social behavior. And you can see, like, look, this is a, a crypto and fear greed index over time, okay? So if you look at, like, on August 4th, we were at a 42, okay? Look at this. Back in July 21th, we were at a 10. So we were at a very, very fearful state there. People did not want to put money into the market, okay? But this is very interesting. You need to check this out. Crypto market behavior is very emotional. People tend to get greedy when the market is rising, which results in FOMO, fear of missing out. Also, people often sell their coins in the irrational reaction of seeing red numbers, seeing red numbers in their in their exchange and their you know you know whatever. Right? With our fear and greed index, we try to save you from your own emotional overreactions. There are two simple assumptions. Number one, extreme fear can be a sign that investors are too worried. That could be a buying opportunity. So meaning like right in here, when people are extremely fearful, that's when you should be looking at buying, right? When investors are getting too greedy, that means the market could be due for a correction, okay? Now, they're simply saying that, hey, everything looks pretty good right now, right? I mean, we're, we're you know, it's, it's green, everything's good. Well, there is a possibility of some types of some type of correction, maybe. Now, my point to you is, is like, oh my God, are we going to start crashing? No, it's an overall social sentiment, uh, you know, social kind of awareness and sentiment uh, index, right? Okay, and so you can just kind of feel it right now. It's cooling a little bit. The the, over, the we've had two days of really nice parabolic runs, right? So it feels like it's cooling just a little bit. Uh, and I had said, hey, look, I, f I fully expect this to really start picking up in September. And so it feels like we're starting, we're getting there a little sooner, which is good stuff. I'm happy for this. But just kind of be aware 
that this crypto and fear greed thing is out there, this index, okay? And and kind of be, just have it in the back of your mind, all right? And just be aware. Okay, now this is kind of looking at the charting action. We had a really nice run and we've kind of started to begin a little bit of a correction, not correction, excuse me, a little bit of a sell-off here, which doesn't really surprise me. You're getting some people that are coming into Doge. Let me pull up Doge real quick, 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 quickly here. Again, volume is up 91%. You get people coming in, excuse me, not coming in. You get people that are looking at this and they're like, oh man, this is, a, wow, this is crazy. Great, great, great. Oh, I need to start, I need to start selling and taking profits. That's kind of what I see is happening, okay? This is absolutely what I'm seeing is that kind of, you got, you got a little bit of a, of a correction here where people are starting to sell off, the, you know, some paper hand situation, kind of people are getting the heck out, things of that nature. Here's where I think. I think we're easily headed towards 30 cents. Uh, I've said this all along. I think that Dogecoin can rise to 30 cents just off of the rise of Bitcoin and Ethereum, period. I believe that, okay? Okay, and this, this, the, 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 and there's a lot of new news articles that are coming out that are kind of re, kind of reiterating what I just said. Okay, and so it's, what's interesting to see here is that is that this is just pulling up Dogecoin, right? What you start to see is we're getting back to where a lot of content's coming out, and it's coming out a lot. There's a lot more content coming out in the global media. Okay, number one, number two. They are mentioning Dogecoin, Bitcoin, look right here. Bitcoin test, Ethereum above, Dogecoin rallies. You're seeing a lot more Dogecoin on a roll. Can it break three, three, 30 cents? Dogecoin up. Where do you buy it? Uh, you know, that's on inside Bitcoins. Dogecoin priced hike up 22%. Bitcoin is suddenly soaring, but Dogecoin right here. Dogecoin and, and unit, Dogecoin's mentioned in all of these articles. Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and XRP increases. What is the overall sentiment I'm showing you? What is the point I'm trying to make? I'm trying to make the point that, <coughs> excuse me, that going back to my original comments when we talk about Dogecoin and things like that, and, and one of the big things around Dogecoin is the fact that you've got those three pillars that are in Dogecoin. The Doge Army, pillar one. The media slash uh, celebrity factor, pillar two. Pillar three, using it as social, as, excuse me, as currency at some point, you know, continuing to evolve as, as a currency. So it's that middle pillar I'm talking about. That middle pillar is a huge, massive one where you're starting to see the global media, just what you're seeing on the screen is starting to really, really cover Dogecoin a lot more, okay? And oh, by the way, we're being, we're being mentioned right there along Bitcoin and Ethereum. Why do you care? You care because it's this media, it's this content that drives that fear of missing out, okay? It drives that social scenario playing out. Oh my God, Dogecoin's up. It's going up. Dogecoin is up 10%. Dogecoin's rising. I got to get up. I got to get into that, okay? Yes, I know it's only up 1% right now, but you get my point, okay? We've had a two days of really, really nice runs. And you start, it starts to create this cycle of fear of missing out. And socially, I'm just like, oh my God, I got to get in. I got to gotta, gotta buy. I got to get in. I got to get in. That is part of what is driving this as well. All right. So the overall conditions right now, I think we're, I think we're headed towards 30 cents. When will we get there? I can't tell you that. It could be tomorrow. <laughs> it could be tomorrow. It could be next week. We got to have to continue to have... Uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum have its kind of nice runs. It feels like they're taking a little bit of a break, a little bit of a rest right now, which is fine. And let's just kind of see how it continues to flow. Again, my job sitting in this seat is real, real simple. is to continue to bring you content, bring you, bring you value, and just help you navigate these proverbial waters. As always, I'll see you later. Thank you for your support. Take it easy. Bye.